lies an organ that quietly endures the brunt of your daily choices, the liver. Now picture this vital organ becoming overwhelmed with fat, silently compromising its ability to function. This isn't a scene from a sci-fi thriller. It's a reality for millions worldwide, known as fatty infiltration of the liver or hepatic stetosis. Stay with us as we unravel the mysteries of this condition, exploring why it's more common than you might think, the surprising ways it can develop, and most importantly, how you can take charge of your liver health. Whether you're already concerned about your liver or just curious, we promise this deep dive will leave you informed and empowered. And trust us, what you'll discover might just change how you think about your health forever. So what exactly is fatty liver disease? At its core, this condition occurs when there's an excessive accumulation of fat in the liver cells. While a small amount of fat in the liver is normal, when it reaches more than 5-10% to of the liver's weight, it becomes a concern. This condition is split into two primary types, alcoholic fatty liver disease, AFLD, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. AFLD, as the name suggests, is directly linked to the consumption of alcohol. It's a stark reminder that excessive drinking does more than just harm your social life. It can seriously damage your liver. But what about those who don't drink or do so minimally? That's where NAFLD comes into play. NAFLD affects a significant portion of the population and is often tied to factors like obesity, insulin resistance, and high levels of lipids in the blood. Now, let's dive deeper into how this fat accumulation happens. Picture your liver as a diligent worker, constantly processing everything you consume, food, drinks, medications. It's the body's detox center, filtering out harmful substances and converting nutrients into forms that can be used or stored. But when you consume too much alcohol, unhealthy food, or gain weight rapidly, the liver starts to accumulate fat. This can lead to inflammation, scarring, and eventually severe conditions like cirrhosis. But it's not just about what you eat or drink. Genetics, hormonal imbalances, and even certain medications can predispose you to fatty liver disease. For example, rapid weight loss, often seen in crash diets or after bariatric surgery, can ironically lead to fat buildup in the liver. It's like a paradox where trying to get healthy too quickly can have unintended consequences. Many people wonder, how do I know if I have fatty liver disease? The truth is, it's often a silent condition. Most people with fatty liver disease are asymptomatic, meaning they show no obvious symptoms. This makes it a bit of a silent threat. However, some may experience vague symptoms like fatigue or discomfort in the upper right abdomen. In more advanced cases, jaundice, swelling, and confusion can occur, indicating liver dysfunction. If these symptoms sound familiar, it's crucial to consult a healthcare provider. Diagnosis typically involves blood tests that can reveal elevated liver enzymes, an indicator of liver inflammation or damage. Imaging techniques like ultrasounds, Connecticut scans, or MRIs are also commonly used to visualize fat in the liver. In some cases, a liver biopsy may be necessary. This involves taking a small sample of liver tissue to look for signs of inflammation, fibrosis, or other liver damage. Let's break down the diagnostic process a bit more. Blood tests can tell a lot about what's happening inside your liver. Elevated levels of liver enzymes like ALT, alanine aminotransferase, and AST, aspartate aminotransferase, can indicate liver cell damage. However, these enzymes aren't specific to liver fat alone, so further testing is usually required. Ultrasound is often the first imaging test used. It's a non-invasive way to detect fat accumulation and is widely available. If more detail is needed, a CT scan or MRI can provide a clearer picture. These imaging techniques can differentiate between simple stetosis and more severe conditions like steatohepatitis or cirrhosis. In cases where the diagnosis is unclear or when there's a need to assess the severity of liver damage, a liver biopsy is the gold standard. Although it's more invasive, it provides a definitive diagnosis and helps in staging the disease, which is crucial for determining the appropriate treatment strategy. Now that we've covered the diagnosis, let's talk about solutions. The best part about fatty liver disease, especially in its early stages, is that it's often reversible. And the primary treatment? Lifestyle changes. If you're carrying extra weight, losing just 5-10% to of your body weight can significantly reduce liver fat and inflammation. 
A healthy diet is key. Focus on whole foods, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats like those found in fish and nuts. Avoid processed foods, sugary drinks, and excessive saturated fats. Think of it this way. Every healthy food choice is a step towards a healthier liver. Exercise is another critical component. Regular physical activity helps burn triglycerides and reduce liver fat. You don't need to become a gym fanatic. Simple activities like walking, cycling, or swimming can make a big difference. The goal is to move more and sit less. And let's not forget about alcohol. If you have AFLD, abstaining from alcohol is crucial. Even if you have NAFLD, it's wise to limit alcohol intake as it can exacerbate liver damage. In some cases, lifestyle changes might not be enough, especially if you have other underlying health issues. That's where medications come into play. For example, insulin sensitizers like puglitazone can help reduce liver fat in people with NAFLD. Vitamin E, an antioxidant, has shown promise in reducing liver inflammation. However, it's important to remember that these medications aren't a cure-all. They should be used in conjunction with lifestyle changes. Always consult your healthcare provider before starting any new medication or supplement, as they can guide you on the best course of action based on your specific situation. Prevention is indeed the best medicine. Even if you don't have fatty liver disease, adopting a liver-friendly lifestyle can prevent its onset. Maintain a healthy weight, eat a balanced diet, stay physically active, and limit alcohol intake. These are not just good for your liver, but for your overall health. Think of your liver as a vital engine that keeps your body running smoothly. Just as you would service your car to keep it in good condition, your liver deserves the same attention. Regular checkups, a healthy diet, and an active lifestyle are the best ways to ensure it functions optimally. So what's the final word on fatty liver disease? It's a condition that's more common than you might think, but it's also manageable and, in many cases, reversible. By understanding the causes, recognizing the symptoms, and making proactive lifestyle changes, you can protect your liver and improve your overall well-being. Have you found this video insightful? What steps are you taking to maintain a healthy liver? We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. Drop a comment below and let's start a conversation. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more health tips and insights. Your liver is a vital part of your health journey, and with the right information and actions, you can keep it in excellent condition. Thank you for watching, and remember, your health is in your hands. Take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.